and I never did sew it up and I don't know why. So I am hoping to have two sewing makes to share with you in this video. I am working on two patterns that I have made before. The first one is McCall's 8206. I made these pants twice. I'm actually in the process of working on view C and I absolutely love these pants. I decided to make them again because I wanted a pair in denim. What I've just finished doing is finishing off the front of the pants and I'm in the process of putting the back it, of putting the pockets on the back. So that's what I've been working on. And this pattern does have a lot of top stitching. So I pulled out my old baby lock machine and I thread it with some white thread and I'm just using that machine to do all the top stitching. So the only change that I made to the pants is this time I decided to raise the crotch up. I raised it up by a quarter inch. So not a whole lot, but I hope it's enough to make a little bit of a better fit. And the next garment that I want to sew up is McCall's, I mean not McCall's, it's Vogue 9075. I've had this pattern for a while. It came out in 2015. I got it and I never did sew it up and I don't know why but I made the jumpsuit earlier this year and I really liked it and so I decided I would go ahead and make the dress. Now the fabric that I'm going to make is some fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. It has kind of like a linen look to it. I don't know if it's linen. I forgot what the fabric content is, but it has little stripes in there. I hope you can see it. I really like it a lot. It is kind of thin and I hope it's not gonna be too sheer. So to do to the jeans as far as sewing is concerned and that is to finish the hem on the bottom and then I also need to put a closure on the front and I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a hook and an eye and let's see the other thing that I want to do is lighten the denim so I think I'm gonna put some bleach in a bathtub with water and place the jeans in there I think I'm gonna do like 40 minutes on each side 40 to 45 minutes I don't want them to get too light, but I do want to see if I can lighten them up just a little bit. So I did the bleach bath and I washed the jeans and they did not dye or lighten evenly, but I'm actually okay with that. I kind of like that. And this is how the back came out. It's dark here and kind of dark around these areas here, but I don't mind it. And I do need to fix this because the thread here, I guess it wasn't tight enough and it came undone in the washing machine. But I will be sure to show you what these look like on. I have all of the pieces cut out. I did not cut out a lining, so I decided to leave the lining out of this dress. It does call for a centered zipper, and I'm just going to use an invisible zipper. This is the back of the bodice sewn together. This is the front of the bodice, and the front and also the back have princess seams right here. 
I just finished putting in the invisible zipper and I'm going to use this single fold bias tape to finish off the neck edges here and also around the armhole opening. I do like this fabric however when I put the dress on I was able to see through the dress as you can see here. So if you find this fabric and want to maybe use it that's just something to keep in mind. with this pattern I like the way that it turned out and I can see myself wearing this dress with some sneakers and even like a denim jacket I think that that would be so so cute so before I go I want to leave you with a love share of a product that I learned about recently I recently learned about grilled cheese toaster bags and I was like whoa wait a minute what in the world so you take two pieces of bread and some cheese and you put the cheese between the two pieces of bread you take the sandwich and you stick it in a toaster bag. You take the toaster bag and put it in the toaster and you toast the whole bag with the sandwich in there. And when the grilled cheese sandwich pops up out of the toaster, everything is done. The cheese is melted and the sandwich is ready to eat. And the toaster bags are reusable. So I thought that that was so good and so cool, especially something easy for kids to do. And I just had to share it with you because I thought you might want to check it out. And if you do, I will leave a link in the description.